In courses that require trig, uh, as prerequisite, they always ask you to know all the trig values for uh, reference angles of the famous angles. And so here is a way, and we showed you how to actually find those, but here's another way of um, basically com uh, memorizing it. And so I start with um, 0, pi 6, pi 4, pi 3rd, pi half. That's an increasing order. And um, how it goes is that the first one is square root of 0 over 2, square root of 1 over 2, square, square root of 3 over 2, square root of 4 over 2. Uh, first one is 1, the second one is 1 half, and then the last one is 1. Um, now what I want you to notice is sine and cosine are co-functions, so the, uh, basically the order changes over here. 1, uh, square root of 3 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, so again that, that, then this, and then 1 half, and then zero. Um, so these said, um, I want to quickly remind you why every one of these actually work the way they do. Um, so the first thing is let's start with um, uh, 60 degrees. So 60 degrees or pi third. Um, pi half and, and zero are both on the uh, ends of the quadrant on the unit circle, so seeing it through unit circle is easy. So I start with uh, with 60 degrees instead. Uh, so 60 degrees, if you have a uh, triangle with all 60 degrees, that's equilateral. So if I drop down a um, perpendicular from one end to another, uh, then that perpendicular is going to divide the sides by uh, 2. So if a side is A, this piece is A half, and this piece is A half. And then I know that because this is 90 degrees, this is going to be at 30 degrees. Um, through that, I can see that sine of 30 degrees is going to be equal to a half divided by a, which is one half, and then um, and again, cofunction that means cosine of 60 degrees also is that, and then um, sine of uh, uh, basically sine of 60 degrees though uh, comes from solving this uh, perpendicular through Pythagorean theorem. If this is perpendicular, this is a, this is a half. x is going to be x squared plus a squared divided by 4, or a half to power 2 is equal to a squared. So x squared is 3 fourth of a squared, and so x is square root of 3 over 2a. And so I get square root of 3 over 2a. That's opposite over hypotenuse, which is a. And that's square root of 3 over 2. Um, for, so this resolved, and, and, and then I know cosine of 30 degrees is going to be the square root of 3 over 2. This resolved pi 6 and pi 3rd. Uh, one that is remaining is pi 4th. And for pi fourth, uh, imagine a right triangle with uh, two sides, the isosceles right triangle, and then uh, compute the hypotenuse, which is going to be square root of a squared plus a squared, which is square root of two times a. And then from here, then you can write on that, and also remember, because you're dividing 90 degrees into 2, you have 45, 45, uh, and therefore sine of 45 degrees is going to be equal to a over the square root of a, which is 1 over square root of 2, uh, and 
uh, in that is just square root of 2 over 2 by multiplying by conjugate and that this is the same thing as cosine of 45 degrees again for uh, angle 0 and angle 0 you go over here and x uh, equal to 1 unit circle is equal to cosine 0 and y equal to 0 equal to sine 0 and over here um, x equal to 0 is equal to cosine pi fourth uh, y equal to 1 is equal to sine pi fourth so this was a quick review and then we ha we can put in this table with the unit circle uh, to actually compute um, um, values for famous angles.